it was a body plot meter. For this transfer function, find what is the amplitude body plot. And also, what is the phase body plot? A comment on pronunciation of the name. That's the way the mathematician from Wisconsin used to pronounce his last name, Bodhi. It's a Dutch name. In Dutch, it's pronounced Boda, according to Wikipedia, but in English also, according to Wikipedia, it is pronounced Bodhi. So let's find them. To find the one in amplitude in decibels, we notice that there is a double zero at zero, but what's the meaning of that? That signifies that the curve will enter climbing at a slope of 40 decibels per decade. That is good. We also realize that there is a simple pole at 10 radians per second and another at 500 radians per second, so there are going to be two knees, two elbows, two kinks in that plot, one at 10 and another at 500. Each one of them reduces the slope of the curve by 20 decibels per decade. The curve is going to look like that. Enters climbing up at 40 decibels per decade because of the double zero at zero. And then at omega equals 10 radians per second, where the first pole is, the slope is reduced by 20 decibels per decade from 40 to 20. And I'll keep climbing all the way to the second pole at 500 radians per second, where the slope will be reduced again by 20 decibels per decade to a horizontal line. That is the shape of the plot. We need to fix it on the decibels axis. To do that, we need to determine the value of that curve at omega 1 radians per second, this value. At 1, the contribution of the two zeros at 0 will be 0. So we can determine this value as 20 log of 20 divided 10 divided 500, like this. 20 log of this 20 divided by 10 divided by 500, that is negative 48 decibels. Approximately, that is the value of the curve at omega 1. And once we have that, of course, we find out how many decades we move to the right, in this case from 1 to 10, that is one decade. And being in that we're climbing at a rate of 40 decibels per decade, we climb up 40 decibels, negative 47.96 plus 40 decibels, well we have approximately negative 8 decibels here. And then up to the next kink we say well, there is 1.7 decades between 10 and 500 radians per second. At a rate of 20 decibels per decade, that is a climb of 34 decibels. Negative 8 plus 34, that is 26 decibels. And we have already the amplitude body plot. For the phase body plot, the two zeros at zero tell us that the curve enters horizontally at 180 degrees. Each one of those two simple poles will include two knees. This 10, one decade before at 1 and one decade after at 100, and the same for the 500 radians per second, 50 and 5,000. We mark on an axis that is not up to scale, those four frequencies, 150, 100, and 5,000 radians per second. And I'm going to include also the slope contribution of each one of them. This is a pole. That means that the first one is going to be descending at a rate of negative 45 degrees per decade. And at 100, we have the cancellation of that slope, positive 45 degrees per decade and for the 500 the first slope is going to be descending because that is a pole negative 45 degrees per decade because that is a simple pole and the second one at 5000 radians per second will cancel that out and then we draw our curve we enter horizontally at 180 degrees like so Bam. 
at 1 radians per second we follow this curve down up to 50 radians per second where the slope gets steeper we go from negative 45 degrees per decade to negative 90 degrees per decade up to 100 radians per second there the inclusion of this positive 45 degrees per decade reduces the decline of the curve we are back at negative 45 degrees per decade and when we add this plus 45 degrees per decade we bring that curve to a horizontal line let's compute now the values at different knee points 180 degrees at 1 radians per second well how many decades are between these two that will allow us to compute the slope here because we know the slope 45 degrees per decade if we know what is the distance in decade between 50 and 100 because we know the slope that is negative 90 degrees per decade we can compute what is this drop and the same can be said so between 100 and 5000 and the drop between those two corresponding points let's compute that the first one 1.7 decades at 45 degrees per decade that is a drop of 76.5 degrees 180 minus 76.5 degrees the value of the curve here is 103.5 degrees the distance between 50 and 100 is 0 0.3 decades but this curve is dropping at a rate of 90 degrees per decade 90 times 0 0.3 and that is a drop of 27.1 degrees 103.5 minus this drop gives us the value at this knee 76.5 degrees last the distance from 100 to 5000 1.7 decades and the slope 45 degrees per decade dropping so the drop from 100 radians per second to 5,000 radians per second is 76.5 degrees. 76.5 minus 76.5, that is 0 in degrees at this point. And that is the phase body plot of this transfer function up here. For the last part, taking both curves, we need to find what is the value of the transfer function at 1000 radians per second. Let's see it. 10, 500, 1000 will be in this zone. So, the value of the amplitude of the transfer function at omega 1000 radians per second is 26 decibels. What about the phase? Well, 1000 will be somewhere around here. We need to find what is the value of the phase down here. Let's see. At this knee, the value is 76.5 degrees. The slope of this curve is 45 degrees per decade. Mm -hmm. And the distance between this knee at 100 and the point of interest at 1000, that distance is 1 decade. 1 decade, 45 degrees per decade. The drop is going to be 45 degrees between this point and that point. And that is the value of that curve is 76.6 should be 76.5 there is a typo there minus 45 degrees that is 31.5 degrees and then the value of the transfer function h at j1000 radians per second is 26 decibels and 31.5 degrees thank you very much